spirit the more at peace i am the more harmony i feel within myself the better the more my light because the spirit world said guides from the spirit world through its philosophy through your light you are seen and as we know light is vibration it is energy okay the more my energy vibrates the stronger my my light is the better for the world of spirit isn't that lovely so let's create this atmosphere all, to, uh, all together close your eyes and here is where i say now now start with your physical body because i i don't only want your peace and, and tranquility in your mind energy. I also want to manifest that kind of my physical body. Okay. I want to really connect with this feeling of how does it feel when I feel at peace? And here then, Landon, I come where I say, you manifest that peace through your solar plexus, which is an energy, energy center the strongest where the power resides, because that will balance you, that will um, connect you with all the lower chakras, like the earth chakra, the sacral chakra, the base, because I wanna be connected with the earth. Yes, can you feel that now? I feel like grounded, I'm, I'm quite comfortable in myself and that's a nice feeling ladies and gentlemen especially in such a busy time where it's so emotionally loaded isn't that nice to just sit with you with your energy because you need to be the grounding for other people to come and find that rock in the rough sea where they can come and find the stability and tranquility that you feel that that's lovely yes that's what i want lovely now let us do an exercise in combination here so we know spiritualist healing believes in God. And God has many names. God has many definitions. And I'm not talking about a religious God. We need to come away from that one. When we talk about the God essence, we talk about the creative power of all life. Where we have originated from and where we will go again. Okay, that's the God that I'm talking about. And within this God force, the healing power exists because we know, wonderful, you're doing really well. We know without that intelligence, there is no healing, there's nothing. Even though we can't prove it and we can't scientifically explain it, there is something that goes beyond us. And there I want to connect, but I'm still holding my connection to the earth. So Carol, not drifting up, stay with you as well. What we want to do is we want to manifest the God power within us. And when I say within us, not just within our physical body, but within our energy. Okay. That's what I want. That's what I want to experience the God force. Because we seem to not allow ourselves to experience what is actually God. How do we feel God? How does God feel like? I don't know. 
but let us have a moment now where we stay within that connectedness with the earth power, building the solar plexus, the energy centers stronger, but at the same time with my thoughts, with my wish, it's like putting it into that ether and say, do you know what, it would be really lovely to have an experience with that God force. And I'm still here. I'm just starting to become a bit more quiet for you to have an experience. It's doing really well. Just a moment where we can build a relationship. And it is your relationship with that divine power. So you want to stay with it because you want to manifest it within you. So you are be staying present within that moment. You're not, you're not going anywhere. You're staying within the moment. Divine created power God, we are reaching out here with our thoughts of healing. Or here we are offering our services to create a moment where healing can be channeled through the world of spirit, through us, to those in need, to those we touch, even through our thoughts. Here I am, asking you, allow me to be part of thy creative wisdom, that touch, that changes life, that knowledge that brings hope and understanding to people, to regain their courage, to regain their trust, in themselves to find that strength and harmony to live life to the fullest to realize how precious life is and what an essential part we all play for that delicate balance to remain so here i am praying to you great creative power of all living life to be allowed to become part of that healing moment. But also here I'm reaching out to ask for permission for the world of spirit to be part of that process. To support us to lead and direct the healing power where it is needed. Where it is helping others to find ease again, to find solace and harmony. And to my own soul I pray, Allow me to truly step in that, into that moment where everything becomes one and true magic can take place. Where we all can experience wonders and the knowledge that there is always a higher purpose for everything. That we will never know the full truth. Here I am with this prayer to be of service.
Say with me. Say with me. Doing really, really well. Now I'm bringing your focus upon your own energy, your own soul. Here I'm reaching out to ask of my own soul to become aware of it. Who am I as a soul? What am I as a soul? How do I feel as a soul? A feeling that goes beyond my everyday hassle, my everyday personality, my everyday role. Who am I as a soul? And if this soul has a light, what kind of light am I?
wonderful. And now through your breath, allow this light to shine brighter and brighter. You don't have to go with it, you just allow it to go on its own, becoming bigger and bigger, surrounding you, drawing everything from outside close to you. That's it. Stay within that connectedness of the earth. Stay here. Here I am offering my light to the divine creative source and the world of spirit. Here I am. holding on to that light, a new question arises within you. Who am I as a spirit being? When everything is peeled away, of the lessons that I want to learn, of the individuality and personality that I am, Who am I as a spirit being? How do I feel as a spirit being? And if my Spirit being was a light. What kind of light would I be? How would this light feel like? Lovely. And through your heart now, give your thanks. And slowly and gently becoming aware of your own breath again. Which is leading you back into your here and now.
carrying this feeling of gratitude within your heart. Never letting go of this experience that you just have. Because that's yours. Always open your eyes in the last moment where you really feel back in your body awareness. Should you open your eyes too quickly and you feel a bit dizzy, disorientated because you thought you didn't go that far and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I might have gone further than I thought. You just close your eyes and focus upon the breathing. You go back into that lovely feeling. You allow your system to settle. And then you bring yourself slowly and gently back. Okay, Marcy? Never too quick. And then you're starting to move your fingers, your toes. Truly breathe and back to me. Lovely. Hmm. Now just be aware of the energy in your room, but also the energy within you. Be aware of that. How do you feel now? I think that should be something nice. Do you feel tranquil? Do you feel relaxed? Do you feel grounded? Mm. 